po, no, kasi tas ngayon, um, 2016, you're celebrating your 30th year in showbiz. Yes. So, paano siguro yung, ano, um, masishare ninyo, la, siguro nung lalo na siguro before, talagang yung competition mataas. Kasi ngayon, laging ganyan kapag yung mga ababuhan yan, yung mga iniisip nila, they're dealing with bashers, dealing with rivalry and all. Kayo po, paano nyo na-handle yun up to now? Andun pa rin talaga yung status na as Asian Songbird. Uh, it was different during my time. Although, uh, yung competition is still the same. Kasi maraming magagaling eh. Madami naman, maraming, dito pa sa Philippines, ang dami-daming singers. So, but not everyone is given the opportunity and the right break. Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, especially yung time namin kasi ngayon nga ang swerte ng mga pumapasok ngayon kasi like when you win in a singing contest, you're right away under contract sa right. sa isang right. network at they'll do their best to para pasikatin ka no nung time namin kasi nanalo din ako ng singing contest pero yun na yun mm -hmm. i didn't have a contract with with that network i only had one um ang kontrata ko sa recording company was just to record one single yung 45 yung maliit that was the contract and wala na you still have to do everything yourself. So after winning, and, and that's sa television yun na bagong campion yun eh. It's televised yun. So parang after ko matapos, parang, oh, okay, ito ba yun? So ano na gagawin ko? Okay. So obviously, I cannot go back to joining amateur singing contest again kasi nakita na nila ako sa TV. So it was actually harder before, I, I, I believe. Tapos wala kaming social media. Ngayon kasi ang daming na-discover sa YouTube, o sa, sa Facebook even. So, mas madali ngayon. Mas madali ngayon. Mas, mas mabilis kang sumikat. Mas madali ang proseso. Unlike uh, during my time. It, uh, you really have to climb. Uh, whatever mountain, you know, parang uh, talagang, ano, talagang kakaririn mo, kumbaga. Tapos, lahat nun magagaling. So, parang paano ka mapapansin? So, uh, ngayon kasi, with the help of, like you said, may social media, meron ka mga stylist, meron kang mga glam team, glam team may kung ano-ano, may mga photographers na magagaling. Parang, you can hire people to make you look different or make you noticeable. Parang ang dami mong pwedeng gawin na, na ikasisikat mo. Although, still, um, hindi pa rin lahat are given the opportunity and given the right. Uh, siguro ano yun? Uh, destiny. Ano, destiny na lang siguro yun. Prayers na lang siguro. At nasubaybayan ng taong bayan yung mga reinvention ninyo through the years. Yung para mga hairstyle, kung mm -hmm. paano yung mga kanta. Kasi kilala kayo na belter, pero meron kayo mga low-key na mm -hmm. album. So for the 30th year, ano po yung mga balak nyo gawin? Magkakaroon po ba kayo ng bagong album ulit? Uh, in the works na yung album, uh, I'm excited about this album, this new one, because in line with my 30th year in the business, we're releasing 30 songs, siguro 10 of which are compilation, and then 20 will be re-recorded, uh, re uh, uh, new recordings. So, I hope that they watch out for Anong that. Anong mga kanta po ninyo yung mga, siguro, or mga kahit konti na na pwede nyo ma-share na gusto nyo ma-isama sana dun sa bagong album? Huwag na, para surprise. <laughs>